Hey, in this tutorial we're going to look at sketching circles, ellipses and hyperbolas. So to start off with, we'll have a look at our circles. So our general equation for our circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Right? But we can often extend that and say that we've got uh, x take h squared plus y take k squared equals r squared. So our centre of our circle okay, is at hk and it has a radius of r units. So in this case here, our first one, our centre is just simply the origin. Okay, so we, this is our translated version of our equation. So if we have a look at this example, we've got sketch x squared plus y squared take 6x plus 2y equals 6. Okay, so in order to do that, what we need to do is first complete the square. So what we want to do is um, group our terms together. So x squared take 6x plus y squared plus 2y equaling 6 and we need to complete the square on here and on here so remember we need to go x minus 3 we have this squared okay and we're looking at also needing to square this term okay which is going to be by uh, we'll make it 9 okay so we've got to take 9 away from there Okay, then we've also got y plus 1 squared, take 1, equals 6. Okay, we need to move these across this side. So you get x take 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared. Okay, gives us 16, which we can see is x take 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 4 squared. And we don't need to actually write the 16 as 4 squared, it just means that we know what our radius is slightly easier. Okay, so now we can actually sketch it. Okay, so it's maxis. Okay, so we're going to be at positive 3, okay, because we switch our signs and negative 1. So we're going to be at positive 3 negative 1, okay, and we know we have a radius of 4, so we know we're going to come out a bit further there. So if you're lucky, you can always give yourself a few guide marks that you go, well, that's got to be up at positive 3, it's got to be about negative 1, so I'm going to be right about there, up here, down about there. Okay, and do the best you can with sketching uh, our circles. They can be a bit harder to get right. We'll see how we go here. Okay, and this is why it's a really good idea do all your graphs in pencil. Okay, because as you can see there, that's not a great circle. And I know if we done in pencil, we can fix it up a bit. Okay, so that's our circles. Okay. When we have a look at our ellipses, they're a little bit different. Okay, so talking about having x squared on a squared plus y squared on b squared equaling one. But again, more often than not, we're going to be looking at examples where it's been translated. And so we say we've got x take h squared over a squared plus y take k squared over b squared equaling 1. Okay, we've got two examples here. When our a is bigger than our b and when our a is less than our b. So when we end up with our a bigger than our b, this is what happens here. So we have our centre of our ellipse at hk, okay, just like a circle. Okay, but we have a major axis okay, that is longer than our minor axis. And when A is bigger than B, then our horizontal axis will be our major axis and our vertical axis will be our minor axis. And now you can see that the length of our ellipse is equal to 2 times our A value okay, and our vertical axis is 2 times our B value. So when A is less than B, Okay, we have the same thing, our centre is still at HK, but this time our major axis is our vertical axis. It's still equal to 2 times the value of our B, and our minor axis is still 2 times the value of A, but we know that B is bigger than A this time, so we're going to be stretched vertically. Okay, so we'll have a look at sketching one of our ellipses here. So we've got 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 8x plus 36y plus 4 equals 0. And we need to sketch that. Okay, so we've got to use completing the square in order to identify the form of the ellipse. Okay, so what we need to do is get our terms together. 
So 4 uh, x squared minus 8 x plus 9 y squared plus 36 y plus 4 equals 0. So when you look at here, we want to take out um, 4 as a common factor from our x terms. We want to take 9 out as a common factor for our y terms. Okay, so when we complete the square here, we're going to be 4 outside of our x squared, take 2x plus 1, so we're not, uh, we're just doing it slightly differently this time, plus 9, this one will be y squared plus 4y plus 4, equal 0. Okay, so when we're looking at doing that, okay, then we've also got to make sure, well, we had this extra 1 here, so we're going to go 4 times our 1, okay, and we're going to have to bring that across this side, oh, and I forgot my plus 4 in this one, so it should be plus 4 there. So, this term here is going to be our 4x take 1 squared. This one's going to be our 9y plus 2 squared. Okay, now if we take our 4 across that we had up here, okay, but we also need, okay, our 4 times our 1 that we'd be taking away here, okay, that to do this, so we have to ta also take away 4 times 1, which means we add it over here, okay, and we'd also end up having to take away our 9 times 4, which would get added over here as well. Okay, now in order to finish this off, well, we need to think, well, hang on, we're not in the form that we had, okay, to get in the form that we had, what we need to do in the easiest way is, well, basically, this term has to be divided by this value, and this term has to be divided by this value. So we end up with x take 1 squared over 9. Okay. And this term is y plus 2 squared over 4. Okay. Over here, uh, our negative 4 and our positive 4 cancel out. Okay. Um, to leave us with 36. However, we've got to divide by 4. So we can say we're 36. We've got to divide by 4, but we've also got to divide by our 9. So we end up in the right spot. Okay, so quite nicely, it all cancels out for us. So we end up in the right form here. Okay, so now we've got all the information we need to actually be able to sketch it. So what we should do is go, okay, we'll center, where is that? So we reverse the signs here, so our center is going to be 1, negative 2. We know our A value okay, is the square root of that, so that's going to be 3, and our B value is the square root of that, so that's going to be 2. Okay, so now we've got everything that, uh, that we need to actually sketch this. Okay, so remember our center is at 1 minus 2. Okay, our horizontal axis is 2 times a. So it's going to be 3 this way and 3 that way. So this was at 1, so we're now going to go down to minus 2. That's going to be the end of it down here. And we're going to go up 3, so that's going to be 4. And be our other end here. Okay, and we can see our b is smaller than our a, so we're expecting it to be an oval shape this way. So we've got to go up 2, which gets us back to 0, because that was minus 2, and down 2 as well. Okay, and again, these can be a little bit tricky to draw. Okay, a bit of practice helps, uh, but also, again, using pencil is a great idea. Okay, and we've got our ellipse. Now, also, don't forget, as always, I did do on the last one, that we should be labeling axes. Okay, and we should be writing our function uh, near our graph, which is x take 1 squared over 9 plus y plus 2 squared over 4 equaling 1. Alright, we'll move on to our hyperbola. Now, there's a little bit of stuff on this page to go through. 
So our high turbo alert is basically exactly the same as our ellipse, but the only thing that you'll notice different is that in here is not an addition sign, it's a subtraction sign. So actually taking away this term. So again, our center is at HK. Right? Now we have what we call vertices, which is the, in, the center of our curve parts, which are given by H plus A, K, and H take A, K. They're our coordinates of our two vertices, and we'll get to those pictures in a moment. Now we get two horizontal asymptotes. They're given by y minus k equals b on a outside of x take h, and y take k equals negative b over a outside of x take h. Okay, there is a quicker way uh, to actually work out our asymptotes though, which I'll show you in a moment. So when we have a look here, okay, we've got two different cases of our hyperbolas. Okay, so, the easier way to look at our asymptotes, because these equations aren't that nice, okay, even when you get them, it may not be a nice equation to actually sketch, okay, an easy way is to work out your centre, because that's nice and easy, that's at our HK, okay, then draw a rectangle whose length is 2A and whose width is 2B, centred at HK, and then simply our asymptotes are at our diagonals of that rectangle. So that can help a lot. Need to be careful when sketching these though. Again, if you don't use pencil, you can't get rid of this rectangle and it's something that you really should be getting rid of. Okay. So it can be a good way to help. Make sure you neaten up your graph at the end. Okay. I've written on the equations on there, but our vertices, a okay, center of our curves in these points here, are okay, given by those two points that we stated here. Okay, And this is our positive version. Okay, this one here is our negative version of our hyperbola. So what's happened is we've put a negative in front of here and changed that to a positive. Okay, so it's like everything's been times by negative one. Okay, and this time we use our top part and our bottom part uh, of our asymptotes rather than the left and the right parts. Okay, and again our vertices would still be found in the same way. Okay, but again it's going to be much nicer if you do your rectangle of two A units long and two B units high, so that you can get your asymptotes nicely. So we'll look at the last uh, question that we're going to look at, which is sketching X take three squared on four, take Y plus two squared on nine equaling one. So what we want to do is, what's our important information? Okay, well we know our center is at 3 minus 2, and we've got to switch the signs of that. A is equal to 2, and B is equal to 3. Okay, so when we've got that information, then we can sketch our graph. Okay, so our center is at 3 and negative 2. Okay. I then look at drawing our rectangle because we're going to be two units left and right of here. So we're going to be negative one. We're going to be from negative one to five, and our two v units up. Okay, so we're going to come back up to three and down to negative five. Of course, if you don't draw your rectangle right then you're going to have trouble drawing your asymptotes right. So again, you'd be doing this in pencil, okay, but it means at least, and see, I think I've done my rectangle a little bit dodgy. It's going to be hard to get my asymptotes very good. And of course, you'll know straight away that I mucked it up because we should have added a dash line. But that's okay, we won't, a little hard to change it on here. Okay, so remember, asymptotes should be a dotting line like I've done for the rectangle. Okay. And we should be looking uh, now at our overall shape of it. Okay, but we also need our two uh, vertices. Okay, so we can't forget about our vertices. Okay, so for these ones, okay, we're going to be looking at. Uh, let me just double check our equation because I've just forgotten it. Okay, so vertices. I guess is at h plus a. So vertices are at h plus a k and h minus a. Okay, so we have a look and we go where our h is negative 3. So this one is going to be negative 3 plus a is 2. Okay, and k is our negative 2. And this one is going to be negative 3 take 2 
negative 2, this one's going to be at negative 1, 2, this one's going to be at negative 5, 2. Oh, sorry, negative 2 on those ones. No, I don't like that. Oh, I mucked up. That should be a negative. That should be a positive for that one. Sorry. Oh, I mucked up. Let me just double check. I think I know what I've done wrong. Yeah, just got to be careful here. Uh, this one needs to be our negative H. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our negative 1, negative 2, and our 5, negative 2. So we're going to be here, and we're going to be up here. Okay, so then we can finish sketching it. Oops, sorry, be on those parts, sorry. Yeah, do a good spot for that. To finish it off. Okay, so that's our last word example for this section. So hopefully that helps you get some questions done.